Okay, so just to let you know where we are, we've got our 23-page Cuomo manual. We're on page 3. We've just launched the software. So if you're not there, go ahead and open that manual or just follow this tutorial and launch Flowworks. And you'll know Flowworks is launched if you have this thing floating around on your screen. It may look like this or it may be small like this. And it's worth also noting that this slide, one of one, that you are on represents the whole area of your tablet screen, which means if we go to the upper left, that's the upper left on the screen and the lower left, and you cannot minimize it because, or make it smaller because you cannot make your actual screen smaller, so it will represent your screen or your touch tablet. So we now have a basic page, and what I'm going to do is jump back to the manual and just sort of show you as we go through what each of these toolbar items does. And we'll start with the basics, and one that comes in useful immediately is this item, which has, it looks like a little recycle or refresh icon, there's two arrows, and it says switch mode if you hover over it. Switch mode is a bit like hitting Alt-Tab to jump between two applications. So when we click switch mode, notice it jumps back to the other application I had open. And I have this PDF manual open. And notice now that my toolbar is kind of reconfigured to be a little more out of the way. I'll click mode again, and now I'm back into Flowworks. So, so switch mode is really convenient to go from working in Flowworks to working in something else. So for example, we had a browser open, um, and we wanted to look something up and then come back to Flowworks. We can do that. Alternatively, I can use Alt-Tab, which I use a lot, and do the same thing that way and notice that jumps me back to the PDF or in this case say I want to go to Chrome I use alt tab and now I'm in Chrome and the toolbar is still hovering over here so as we discussed earlier you can click this four arrow item just to make it uh, smaller so we're going to be going back and forth a lot because a lot of times you want to do things with your computer that are not with flow and you may want to incorporate those things into flow so I will jump back now to the manual and we'll go to page four and these next few pages have uh, s simple and very clear explanations of each of the items on the toolbar so one thing you could do is print a couple of these and if you use it a lot and you want a quick reference maybe isolate them and and laminate them and tape them up on the monitor until you get comfortable over time it should become pretty clear what each item does but I encourage you to hover over them, get used to the names. And we'll just go down the list now and kind of cover each item. So the first thing on the left is the start item. And we'll look at start. Allows the user to print, save, so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and make that. Now notice when I stretched out my toolbar by clicking on these four arrows, it jumps me back into Flowworks. So I found this to be a little bit disconcerting. It seems to take, take control sometimes when you don't want it to but in this case it's fine so let's just look at start I'll click here on start and you see it has a number of different options very much like what you would find in most applications when you click file save save as that sort of thing so we can make a new presentation and in this case I don't need to because I'm in a fresh one but if I click new it's gonna look the same because it started out with a new one but that's fine let's say I, I uh, well, well we'll do more of that later if there's one that I've created already and I want to open it, I use the open. So these are just like your standard file menus. Save it, save it as, close it. Um, and you will use this when you want to close the application. Um, or actually when you want to close the application entirely, you go all the way to the bottom and hit exit. And that's a not very intuitive and it's not really easy to get to, but it's the very bottom of the start menu. We also have another, a couple of other options. If you go to switch user here, you'll see there's beginning intermediate and advanced. Let's go ahead and switch to beginning and what that will do is take away a couple of the menu options to simplify a little bit. So I'll go to beginning, select that, and notice now my toolbar has gotten smaller. And uh, I don't know where this line came from so what I will also do is look for an undo. And notice there is no undo so what happens is when we do the beginning mode um, that's not really an option. Also, we don't have the handle to drag our uh, toolbar around, so I'm not really liking beginner mode. So we'll go back here and look for that same option, switch user, and let's go to intermediate user. And so